It's beer o'clock on Real Old Craft Beer. Today we're going to beer from Brewery Toy, and it's a bottle of their Gooden Dog Blondale coming in at 8% ABV. There's a look at the label. Black bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Look at that smoke on the opening. Okay, so this beer, well, look at the carbonation. Wow, look at that. This beer is from Belgium. But judging by the label, I don't know if this is the, one of the colours of the shield. I've got to be careful with this. It is a bottle conditioned beer. You can see, you can see the, the yeast in the bottle there. <clears throat> but I don't know if it's the, the shield there. But for some reason, especially with the name Gooden Dog, it seems very, I don't know, Swedish or Norwegian, Scandinavian. I don't know, it, it just has that feel for me. Maybe, maybe it is actually the, I, I'm not sure, I'm not from Sweden, but maybe it's the Swedish Shield versus the, the Belgium Shield. Maybe they had battles years ago. I don't know, I really don't know. I'm. Oh, there is some English and it does date back to July 1302. So we will read that in a moment. Um, but I like to go into my beer reviews naive. There's no point in me reading up on beers and, uh, and, and then just standing here going, this battle happened in 1302. Blah, blah, blah. There's no point in that. There's, the, the obvious point for this is kind of blind beer tasting. And that's what I... I always do it. I know I seem naive when I do it. Uh, sometimes I get it very wrong. Uh, once recently for uh, the beer, beer merchants I got there, they sent me this Belgium, it was a Belgian pale ale and I, I tried to call it a lambic or, or I remember it being a lambic or, you know, sometimes I'm way off the map. But I think that's why you guys watch. It's why you're here. It's just to see a blind taste test of a, of a beer. So, one finger white head, nice levels of carbonation. It's a blonde, a lovely blonde coloured ale, 8% ABV. I'll throw in that yeast later on. This beer is indeed from beermerchants.com. Please check it out. Uh, you'll be able to find the beer from there, or maybe not this month, but if you check out their beer club below in the description box, they, they do 10 beers for £30 and it's basically they send a box every month and you don't know what you're getting. It's like Christmas every month of, of 10 beers from around the world. So a very, very good, if you want to check it out, check the link below. Okay, aroma on this slightly hazy blonde coloured ale. Oh, classic Belgian. Slightly peppery. Lots of candied sugar. Lots and lots of candied sugar. Lemon. Oh, it smells great. Absolutely great. Let's dive in. Cheers. Oh. Goodness, I nearly drooled. Oh my goodness me! That is fantastic! Absolutely fantastic! It's really sweet. You get lots of candied sugar. It's wonderfully carbonated. It's the one thing I love about Belgian beer is when you taste the beer, there's lots of individual flavours all crammed into this glass of beer. But it's the it's the carbonation that explodes on your palate. It kind of explodes on your tongue and it sends the beer spiralling around your mouth. There's taste buds down the back of your throat, top of your tongue. There's taste buds everywhere in your mouth. And when that carbonation kind of, kind of bursts on your palate, it, it just intensifies the flavours that are in the beer. 
That's why one of my biggest love affairs with Belgian beard is that wonderful carbonation. There's hints of banana. There's hints of Hefeweizen about this beer. As is with a lot of, for me personally, <coughs> pardon me, Belgian blonde beers, so carbonated, it's really kind of, that's the trouble. I mean, nobody ever thought that they were going to be drinking a carbonated beer and talking to a camera live. Well, quite live. Um, you have to deal with the carbonation afterwards as well. So, yeah, for me, Belgian Blondes and German Hefeweizens are quite close. Often I've had a Belgian Blonde which has that classic German Hefeweizen, kind of slightly clovey, slightly banana-y flavour and taste. And that beca that's because of the yeast. It's that natural second fermentation that the yeast that they use in, in Belgian beers. It's quite, I'm not saying it is exactly, but it's quite close, especially the blonde style to German Hefeweizens. So some nice banana, some nice spice. It's amazing. It really is amazing. I want to thank Johnny, Johnny Garrett from the Craft Beer Channel personally for this beer. Um, he messaged me, he said, have you, have you tried this Golden Dog beer? And I said, no, no, I haven't. I've never had anything from Brewery Toy before. He said, you must try it. Johnny now works for beermerchants.com and, and he's part of the reason why we kind of collaborated with, with beer merchants and we're doing this. They sent us a monthly beer club and some, some really peculiar, really, really kind of out there beers that are really bizarre. And this is one of these beers which... If it wasn't for Johnny, I, I would probably, I might have tried it in like five years time or whatever if somebody was lucky enough to send it to me, but, but Johnny pointed this beer out to me and Johnny wanted me to try the beer. And that is for me, that is from the Craft Beer Channel, that is for me a real passion for beer. When you want another person to try a beer that you've tried and you've gone, oh wow, that is amazing. I wonder what Simon would think, or I wonder what Johnny would think. And and that's that's the that's the the creativity, that is the passion. When you get involved with beer, you'll never get away. I'm pretty sure if Johnny ever if Johnny watches this video, um, it would leave a massive hole in his life. And in my life, and in everybody else's life who were involved in beer, if they decided to stop drinking beer, I think it would be kind of impossible. When you, when you get involved with beer, there's a certain magic. There's a certain, there's a certain, it's just, it's just passion. There's so many different styles, there's so many different fantastic beers out there that it, 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 it's a lifetime of work. To, to drink it all and so so yeah this is my own personal cheers to beer I'm gonna throw the yeast in now show you what the beer looks like with all that yeast added it will probably change the look of this beer in the glass so nice levels of oh, there's a little bit of yeast there floating around lovely lovely beautiful color to the beer should we rate it Oh, I did promise you, didn't I? One second. Uh, Kondrick, the 11th, 11th of July, 1302, during the Battle of the Golden Spurs, a small army of Flemish infantry defeated the most powerful army of that time, the Knights of the French King. Okay, so it was a French-Belgian battle then. Nothing to do with Sweden. Um, this traditional ale is named after their most feared weapon, the golden dog. Golden dog, maybe. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. That is one of the best, if not the best, blonde ales I have ever tried. It's fantastic. Thanks for watching. Please comment. Please subscribe. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom and cheers.